So College Corps is one of those, one of the great programs out there that students should be involved in and, you know, get that experience. I enjoy doing this because to me it's like I'm doing my part and giving into my community and hopefully that helps other people want to do the same. College Corps changed my life in a very dramatic way. College Corps is a volunteer-based program where students can go ahead and earn up to $10,000. They do get a monthly living allowance um, within the school year. And afterwards, if you do complete the program, you still get a $3,000 scholarship at the end. So that it leads up to being up to $10,000. The stipend provides that additional help. It provides additional income source. So they're able to focus more on their school. They're able to get better grades. They're able to graduate on time. They can take on more classes. They can volunteer more. That's enough for them to be able to be comfortable while they're in college and they're pursuing their careers. Afterwards, if they do complete the 450 hours, which is um, required for this program, they'll get a $3,000 scholarship at the end um, that can be used for when they transfer over for their education and makes it a little bit more easier to pay off tuition as well. And hopefully in the future, after I've done my hours at the end, I'll be able to look back and think about all the great times that we were able to help out or answer questions that people came to us with and just you know, be able to help and continue to help in the future. So they do climate change, they do food insecurity, and they do K-12 education. I chose education because I like working with people and with students like myself. It gave me the opportunity to network with people in the field that I want to work in in the future. Urban conservation where they assist the environment by cleaning it up, making sure that it is up to par with what um, the standards are supposed to be for the environment. So they do a lot of beach cleanups, they do a lot of hikes where they actually going, getting down and dirty doing so many, um, you know, so much change in that, in that area. This is a garden that already existed, but not much effort was put into it. So which is why we're trying to revive it and uh, try to fix it up, try to put in new fruits and vegetables that we can grow hopefully within a few months and we'll be able to act, we'll be able to give it to the community so that when they come over to our location, they're able to pick out whatever fruits and vegetables that are grown here. And that's another accessible resource that they will be able to have. So I feel like the, this program has been really successful. A lot of students have benefited from this program. Um, many students are very thankful for the opportunity to be a part of this program because it also really does help them out with the resume building. It's a, it was a way for me to gain experience in that field. I was able to work with students from all ages, I, I believe it's K through 12 and beyond. Many students go after, you know, completing the careers um, here at Valley or at Crafton and they don't have that experience out in the field so this gives them a little bit to get their feet wet and you know just to see what's out there and what's, um, what opportunities are available to them and I feel like many students are thankful for that. College Corps changed my life in a very dramatic way. I was placed at the Mexican consulate in San Bernardino which provided me direct hands-on experience with helping first-generation students and to work with these children and these families and that impact that I saw every day is life-changing. I, you know, I, I can't go back to who I was before knowing that there's so many people that are benefiting from this program and from that location specifically as well. Yeah, they're really helping out their city. They're helping the people of the city, fam their family as well, even though the family may not realize at that moment what differences they're making. That is, you know, if they're doing K through 12 education, you know, they're helping out the new generations coming up as well. They're, they're teaching them that, you know, they're going to community college, they're a part of this program, and these students are going to see that. And then later on, they'll want to be a part of this because they're making a difference in their lives. Um, same thing with climate change. You know, right now we might not see the difference, you know, that there's that tree that was being planted, but at the end of the day, maybe two, maybe ten years from now, um, you'll see that tree has grown a little bit more and they'll be like, I did that when I was young. You know, they'll be able to tell their generations or their future generations that they were a part of that program and they did this. And then, of course, if they do um, food insecurity, part of our program as well, they they actually see that right then and then, you know, um, they do see the difference they're making at that moment, right? They give that food box to that um, family. They're able to see that family is thankful and, you know, and is beyond um, 
you know, thankful for what they have done for them, you know, because it's just a simple food box for somebody, but for them it's a life-changing moment. Well, we do food insecurity, so we try to get as much food as we can and distribute it equally into bags or boxes, whatever is available to us. And what we do is, with all of us in the team, we try to put it in boxes or bags and then try to count as many people that will show up on Wednesdays and Fridays, which is the day we do food distributions. We just pass out whatever food we're able to give to the community and to help them out. Some of the events and network opportunities that our students have are the mid-year leadership workshops. Um, this is where, well for us, it was all of the SoCal colleges um, convened into one event. So we had people from, of course, San Diego, we had people from UCR, um, other Cal States um, to come in into this event and network with each other. Students got an idea of what it's like to be a part of UCR. Students get an idea of how professors are at CSUSB so they get a better understanding of where they're, getting, where they're going or where they're heading to. And especially here, um, being in a community college level, they want to go ahead and prosper and continue on and move on to a four-year college and then maybe even getting a master's or a doctorate. But of course, networking and connecting with the community you're trying to get or trying to be a part of is better to get an understanding of what they represent, what they want as a student, and at the end of the day, makes it easier for them to transition. And that as a student, I was able to find my, I say I want to, I found my community at San Bernardino Valley College. And then through that, I was able to find College Court. Through being in the program, I was able to network and meet so many people. And I was able to become more confident in myself and begin my own personal journey into becoming the student that I wanted to be. Um, students are so used to being around each other in a professional setting or trying to like make a difference for the community, but sometimes students just need to decompress, you know, and try to just relax after, you know, they're being, they're college students and they're volunteering and there's, some of them have full-time jobs and some of them have part-time jobs. So it's sometimes just a good, you know, transition for them to come in, um, being a part of a barbecue or being a part of like um, different holiday events that we have. We, Amoja does a lot of big events as well that they're able to just to come in, relax, have a casual setting and they're able to bond and make friendships at the end. I want to give a lot of credit to College Court because without it, I wouldn't have been introduced to this network of people that are in my area. I wouldn't have known so many people are involved in San Bernardino that care about me and that care about my future and that are involved in the process throughout. It's a more complete experience for students who are involved with College Court to get a bigger grasp of what it's like um, to be at a college, you know, and not just be just a student, but also see what um, opportunities are available at the colleges and what opportunities are available outside the colleges as well. It's different here. Students constantly are able to see the difference that they're making. They um, kind of relate to the volunteer aspect of the program. They're able to see what people are facing and relate to it. Some of our students have faced food insecurity. Some of our people have fa um, faced certain um, obstacles in their K-12 through education. So they're able to see what differences they're making firsthand. Them volunteering here and giving back to where they came from makes a big difference. They want to make a big difference. They want to make that bigger impact for our city and that's what students want to do here. It's important to me and is the reason why I chose to be part of the Catholic Charities is because growing up there were certain times we hit a few bumps as a family especially financially where we weren't able to have a big meal or we weren't able to go out as much and so if we're able to give the opportunity to other people to not have to struggle or just give our little grain of rice. And to me, it's important that they're able to have that. I enjoy doing this because to me, it's like I'm doing my part and giving into my community and hopefully that helps other people want to do the same. I am happy to be part of College Court. I am a member of the, the first cohort. Being part of something that is a first in the country was very satisfying and led to a lot of firsts for me personally as well. It was, it's definitely worth it, and it was worth it to invest my time and to help myself and to help the community. Yes, I think College Court is worth it, in my opinion, especially here at the location that I'm at, because I'm able to 
help out and give to my community and hopefully other people in College Court are as well. We're constantly making a difference for our community, constantly making a difference for students' lives and we're making, um, a we're helping give that step that students need um, to prosper in their education. So College Court is one of those one of the great programs out there that students should be involved in and, you know, get that experience.